Hi, I'm uh, Karin Dragoe, VP uh, Geosciences with Chinook Consulting. We're an upstream service company that also promotes uh, geothermal development. The oil and gas industry is constantly changing. Over the past few years, it has been under constant pressure to change towards renewable energy and uh, alternative resources. I will not discuss the sources of these pressures, but uh, I will focus instead on uh, using transferable skills and technologies towards these new developments. These are some examples of transferable skills and uh, technologies, primarily developed and perfected in oil and gas, and they can also be applied in uh, alternative resource development. Uh, starting here with uh, drilling methods and continuing with data integration, well data and uh, seismic processing data, then uh, energy and heat production systems, and also very important skills developed in the oil patch that can be directly transferred in, uh, emerging, in uh, emerging industries uh, related to the renewable uh, electricity and alternative resources. We will uh, have a closer look at uh, these technologies and uh, how the skill transfer can be achieved. Alternative uh, resources uh, refer to renewable uh, energy, electricity, as well as uh, other mineral resources that can be used in emerging green uh, economies. There's obviously uh, geothermal energy, uh, developed largely with the same methods used in uh, oil and gas exploration and extraction. I would also like to mention lithium mining uh, and the option to extract it from uh, reservoir brines uh, or the extraction of uh, phosphates through solution mining with water injection and brine produ production. I'll also mention uh, carbon dioxide uh, capture and underground storage, uh, CCUS, uh, a method used routinely for uh, tertiary recovery in uh, mature oil reservoirs. I see these uh, emerging developments as an opportunity to apply skills and technology perfected in the petroleum industry. There are a few types and flavors of uh, geothermal developments. I will go through them quickly, just for a frame of reference. Conventional uh, hydrothermal systems refer to direct harvesting of hot water or steam from uh, pressurized fluids in fractured and permeable rock, encountered usually at shallow depths, often connected with hot springs. Development in this scenario is relatively straightforward and uh, widely used in the select locations where the conditions are met comes to mind Iceland or California. Enhanced uh, geothermal systems, EGS, uh, refer to extraction and reinjection of large volume of hot water from deep reservoirs, often uh, stimulated with hydraulic fracturing in order to achieve uh, large water volumes. Of course, fracking is another technology developed in the unconventional hydrocarbon industry. Uh, reservoir evaluation and mapping has to be very precise for this type of development in order to achieve these uh, large uh, water discharges that are needed to make the systems viable. Super hot rock geothermal, uh, it's uh, envisioned for high temperature and high pressure settings where water resides in a supercritical phase that's upwards of uh, 375 degrees. Energy potential is very large but then so are uh, technical challenges. I will not discuss this uh, type here, and I don't believe there is much applicability uh, in Romania. And then there's uh, advanced geothermal systems. These are closed-loop systems that uh, harvest heat rather than uh, reservoir water. Uh, these uh, systems do not require hydro, uh, hydraulic stimulation and uh, generally target hot and dry formations or rock layers uh, with uh, low porosity and permeability or even uh, impermeable rock. Uh, the images uh, displayed here um, are pictures of a few ongoing projects in Canada. And, uh, from left to right, we have a classic geothermal doublet with uh, deep vertical production and uh, injection walls. Then uh, a system with uh, alternating uh, horizontal production and in, uh, injection walls, where a hydraulic fracture is also used. And then a closed loop uh, system acting as a giant underground radiator to harvest the heat of the earth. Our preferred system is the one uh, labeled as advanced. Um, these closed loop geothermal systems hold a few advantages. 
such as uh, drastically reduced uh, geological uh, risk, as it doesn't uh, um, target reservoir uh, fluids or, for that matter, porous or permeable la layers. Eliminating the, the risk of fracking and uh, accompanying community backlash uh, disentails uh, is another uh, advantage. Then uh, there's no parasitic load uh, as the fluid is moved through the loop based on the uh, thermal siphon effect. There are challenges, of course, uh, related to complex uh, well geometry, but as a matter of fact, here lies our exper experience and expertise. Then um, heat exchange at reservoir level, um, that's directly linked to a thermal uh, conductivity of the rock. Uh, there's potential fluid contamination in open hole, and uh, this is mitigated by sealing and drilling muds. Uh, there's also high constru construction cost. The low geological risk and the potential for upscaling are major advantages, in my opinion. So let's move on to uh, some examples of uh, transferable uh, technologies. Directional drilling has a long history in the oil and gas industry. Um, as we know, as uh, oil and gas basins mature, uh, infill drilling and horizontal wells uh, become prevalent and the directional drilling becomes es essential in uh, well execution. Um, quality has in increased in leaps and bounds from uh, multi-leg wells to uh, extended reach uh, drilling to intersecting well bores. The high precision directional drilling is essential in uh, drilling advanced geothermal systems as they are in the uh, development of solution mining for phosphates or injection wells in uh, thin uh, stratigraphic layers. Geosteering uh, or reservoir navigation. It's uh, directly applied in closed loop geothermal systems or in uh, geothermal designs with uh, horizontal wells. It is uh, based on software that cor correlates uh, curves measured while drilling with the earth models generated from uh, offset walls. The approach allows drilling in uh, tightly controlled thin rock layers with uh, increased precision and confidence. Uh, the approach is also used in solution mining or uh, drilling of lithium wells, where uh, large fluid discharges are achieved from uh, horizontal wells. Reservoir delineation and uh, precision mapping is paramount for both uh, traditional petroleum and for uh, geothermal exploration, as well as other alternative uh, resources. The leap in uh, precision from 2D to 3D seismic is well known and significantly, significantly uh, reduces the geological risk. From this point of view, there is no difference between uh, renewables and uh, fossil fuel exploration. Magnetic ranging technology was uh, initially devised for collision avoidance when uh, drilling wells in close uh, proximity. It was then advanced and perfected in uh, ultra heavy oil uh, developments in uh, steam assisted gravitational uh, drainage, SAGDI uh, methods, uh, where an injector well is drilled at a precise distance from a horizontal producer well. The same technology is used now for well intersection in uh, dewatering horizontal uh, coal seam gas wells, in uh, phosphate solution mining, or in closed uh, geothermal loops. Uh, the images displayed here depict uh, SAGDI wells uh, and then a solution mining pad, a coal seam gas with stacked multilaterals, and a closed loop geothermal uh, system. All the uh, projects where uh, magnetic ranging was deployed. Drilling mud, it's an essential component uh, in uh, well drilling. Uh, whether that's for oil and gas, geothermal, or uh, other resources. Managed pressure systems allow us uh, to drill uh, under balance without damaging the geological formations, uh, keeping well bore integrity and preventing blowouts. Advanced mud systems ensure hole cleaning and formation fluid control. It is also essential in achieving extended reach laterals. Uh, laboratory analysis perfected over the years in, uh, in the oil and gas industry are easily applied in alternative uh, resources. 
For example, in uh, geothermal, uh, mineralogic analysis uh, is used to determine uh, thermal conductivity of the rocks at reservoir pressure. Um, also, geochemical analysis of formation brines uh, identify high lithium concentrations. Gas component analysis from chromatography, spectral analysis, or uh, mass spectroscopy uh, lead to the identification of helium in uh, natural gas, and the list goes on. Uh, Semi-permeable membranes are instrumental in extraction and separation of hydrogen, lithium, helium, or for uh, carbon dioxide separation for, for underground storage. Oil and gas operators often own or uh, sometimes lease infrastructure that can be reused and recycled in the quest for uh, renewables and uh, alternative resources. Well leases can be reused for drilling new wells or for uh, deepening or enlarging uh, existing wells for geothermal energy extraction. Then the pipelines can be reused, uh, oil pipelines to transport the water for uh, district heating over short distances. Um, natural gas pipeline to transport hydrogen with uh, current technology up to 10% uh, concentration by volume uh, of uh, hydrogen can be transported without any changes. However, the most valuable asset uh, in a, is the highly skilled workforce uh, that is ready to deploy transferable skills towards uh, new developments. I will uh, end this presentation with this uh, image that shows a closed loop geothermal well superimposed over Calgary downtown. It goes to show the scale and precision of drilling two wells from surfaces that are three kilometers away and uh, intersecting a 25 centimeter wide hole at two kilometers below the surface. Well, I would like to thank Energonomics for the opportunity to talk today and uh, also to express my appreciation for the initiative of uh, bringing professionals from very different areas in the same uh, virtual room. Hopefully we can uh, advance these new developments together while at the same time transferring this tremendous expertise achieved in oil and gas and implementing it in uh, geothermal developments and uh, alternative uh, resource extractions. Thank you.